Oh, hiya. How you doing? Just, uh, just in the garden. Hang on, I'll, I'll come in. Yeah, bit of a, bit of a green-fingered guy. Uh, spent hours out there. Uh, mowing? M mowing? Is that what you do? Uh, pruning? Pruning, planting, you know, flowers and trees and, and grass and stuff. Technical terms that us gardeners know of. Anyway, more later. Good to see you and welcome to another Midweek Reflection. One of my uh, good friends in Cambridge uh, came up uh, with a, a suggestion for what it was called. Well, she called it a You Never Know What Is Coming Next Wednesday, which I think is... Uh, Pretty fair, considering some of the, the things we've been doing. But it is it is a another Wednesday, another you never know what's coming next Wednesday. Quite tame this week. Uh, so last week we gave you the challenge and the encouragement to create uh, the CDs, Thanksgiving CDs, uh, reminding ourselves that even today there's a lot of which to be thankful. And so we um, encouraged people forget you on that side, to uh, use spare CDs or DVDs or ones that uh, we could provide to make them and we're going to hang them up outside some of our church buildings. Uh, thanks to, to so many of you uh, so far who've got involved, some are still in the process of doing it. I came across uh, this one just now actually, I didn't even know this was there. This is one uh, done by Carol. Isn't that beautiful? And it says... Uh, thanks for nature and the outdoors, which happens to be a good link to today's challenge in one second. So you've still got a few days to um, come up with your CDs, to come up with your things to be, to be thankful for um, or thankful of. Um, so it could be people, it could be places. You could decide to, to cover it in cloth like Carol. Um, some stickers and sellotape here, some pom-poms, so just some writing of, of the, the people you're, you're grateful to. Um, so if you can get those to us, if you're planning on doing some, by, by the, the end of this weekend. So what's that? July the 5th. July the 5th. If you could get that to us, then we'll, um, we'll hang them up. Um, so that was last week's challenge. This week then is on the theme of nature. Because, as most of you know, I am a bit of a gardener. I spend hours um, out there working away, getting my hands dirty uh, with the flora and fauna and such like. In fact, Quiet, please. Kindly don't impede my concentration, for I'm looking at the garden, thinking thoughts of propagation, of sowing and of nurturing the fruits my work will bear, and the place won't know what has hit it once I get up from my chair. I'm at the planning stages now, if you should need to ask, and if I'm looking weary, it's the rigours of the task. While the creation of a garden is a strain as you can guess, so if my eyes should close, it isn't sleep of course, it's stress. Oh the mower I will cherish, and the tools I will oil, the dark nutritious compost I will stroke into the soil. My sacrifice, devotion and heroic aftercare will leave you green with en envy once I get up from my chair. I've got lots of leeks to dibble and my runner beans to stake, and I want everything hung up, the garden hoe, the garden rake. I'll disinfect my greenhouse when I've finished in the shed. Then beside my faded roses, I will snip off every head. I will excavate the bindweed, treat the moss upon the lawn. That hairy bitter crest will curse the day that it was born. I will rise against the foe, and in the fight we will be matched and the cabbage caterpillars, they will curse the day they hatched. On the branches I will layer, and the cuttings I will take, let other fellows dig a pond, I shall dig a lake. My garden, what a showpiece, there'll be pilgrims come to share, and I'll bow and take my credit once I get up from my chair. 
I guess you can't even see the garden <laughs> right now, can you? Yeah, as you can see, uh, my garden is quite basic and I don't spend many an hour there. The wonderful Pam Ayres poem there that I slightly adapted uh, and read kind of uh, gives my, uh, my take on gardening. I love it in theory, but there always uh, seems to be other things to do, even if it's just sitting in my chair. And yet, I am hugely thankful for the outdoors, for nature. Um, the walks in the woods nearby, the beautiful views, and even just the chance to get out in the garden here. I think one thing lockdown has, has reminded us is just how blessed we are if we have a garden. When many other people are, are cooped up inside, the, the ability just to get back, and if, if, whether it's just a yard, just a small space where we can see nature all around us, where we can see things growing, moving, living, is a huge blessing at the moment. And so, inspired uh, by Marilyn Leach, who had the same idea I had, spooky, great minds clearly think alike. Um, today's challenge, the challenge for this week, is, of course, to finish these, if you haven't done so already, but to send in a photo of uh, a flower, uh, a bush, um, some vegetables, something in your garden that's given you joy at the moment. It could be a view of the whole thing. And you could say just why it's, uh, why it's cheered you up, why you're, you're grateful for it. But we're going to share our garden gallery. Um, and in, in honour, actually, I should have mentioned it, it's the, uh, the uh, Botanic, National Botanic Garden of Wales' uh, 20th anniversary this year. So um, we might not be able to go up there and, and check it out, but we will be able to check out the beauty that is all around us in each other's gardens. So that's it for this week. Finish the CDs, send in the photos of your gardens, and we'll, uh, we'll share them next week. So send them to the normal places, email me, um, or put them on WhatsApp or the Facebook group, and uh, we look forward to seeing those. Now, if you would leave me, please, I've uh, got to get back to some serious gardening. So go well, God bless, and I'll see you uh, possibly on Sunday.